Hey what's up guys this is Sonic Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP on VirtualBox so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Windows XP ISO download. Click on the first link by ISO River. This link will be also in the description box below. After that download 64 bit version of Windows XP. After you have downloaded Windows XP, you can also download and install VirtualBox if you haven't already, it's pretty simple. Now open VirtualBox, I'm using VirtualBox version 7. Now click on new and give your virtual machine a name, I'm going to give it Windows XP. And now you need to choose a virtual machine location. Select the location with a lots of disk space, for example your D drive. Now select the ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. Now make sure to check skip unintended installation. Since Windows XP doesn't require much RAM and CPU, you can just allocate 1 GB of RAM and 2 or 1 core for CPU. Now we need to allocate disk space for Windows XP. If you don't want to install any programs, then you can just allocate 10 GB and it should be enough. But if you want to install some programs and store some files, then you need to allocate more than 20 GB. Now make sure Windows XP is selected in the left side and click on settings. Now go to the system and go to the processor tab and make sure to check this option. Now click on the display option and make sure to enable 3D acceleration and drag the video memory to the max. Now click on shared folders and if you want you can add any directory to your shared folders to share the files between your Windows XP and your host machine. Make sure that the auto mount is checked and now we are good to go. Now we can click on start to open the virtual machine. Now once you get into the screen, press enter to continue. After that, press F8 to accept the terms and conditions. Now you will be asked to create partitions. Just press enter and it will create partitions automatically. Now you will see four options. Choose the first option which says format the partition using NTFS file system quick. After that your Windows XP installation will begin. Now this may take a while depending on your computer performance so please be patient and wait for it. After that your virtual machine will restart automatically during installation. and. You may see a prompt to enter any key to boot from CD or DVD. Just do not press anything at this point. After that your Windows XP installation will continue. After the installation is finished, it will ask you to set up Windows XP. Now it will ask you for your region and your language, you can leave it as default. And after that it will ask you to choose host name for your system, you can choose your own name. Now it will ask you for a product key, you can find the product key in the name of Windows XP as a file. Or you can just type the product key which is shown on the screen.
after that it will ask you for your username and password just type your details and press next now choose typical settings and click on next now your windows xp setup will continue and it may take some time so please be patient your virtual machine may restart again and it may ask you to enter any key to boot from cd just do not press anything So finally we are booted into Windows XP. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on the desktop and select properties and then go to the desktop tab and changing the wallpaper to the default iconic Windows XP wallpaper. Also you might notice that the resolution is very small so we're going to fix that. Click on devices option at the top left at of the virtual machine and then click on insert guest edition cd image now click on your start menu of windows xp and then click on my computer now you will see the guest edition cd in the file explorer open the x64 bit version of the guest editions and install it now it will install all the required drivers for resolution and you will also be able to transfer files between the Windows XP and your host machine. After the reboot, now you need to click on the view option at the top left and then click on auto resize guest display. You can also enter the full screen by pressing right control and F key. Also if you want to use internet on your Windows XP then I have provided a link for a uh, latest version of Firefox which is supported for Windows XP in the link in the description box below. So that's it for the video guys, thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel, thank you.